Hi, I'm Scott Jacobson, Director of Product Marketing here at Cadence Design Systems in charge of Memory Model Verification IP. So today, we're going to talk about an industry segment that is currently driving new requirements in memory models and in a way that we haven't seen in previous generations. This is the whole driving force of automotive electronics. That's a big area. So we're going to start out today, we're going to start out with a market overview um, to look at, um, look at the sizing of this, put it in proportions, because I just told you that it's a big market, but in, in terms of market scale, um, let me give you some reference points. Um, for instance, for NAND uh, flash memory use in the automotive electronics area, uh, typically today, a smart, as a comparison, typically today a smartphone has maybe up to 250 gigabytes of NAND flash available to it. An automotive uh, implementation uh, predicted for the future is going to have thousands of gigabytes required of NAND flash. Um, looking at DRAM requirements as a comparison point, typical smartphone today, maybe eight gigabytes in higher, higher configurations, but automotive is looking at hundreds of gigabytes of NAND flash required. So you can see that there's at least you know, a factor of 10 or more in these areas um, of growth for between what we currently consider to be a high performance platform like a smartphone to what automotive is going to need. Um, in the number of SOCs required, a typical smartphone is maybe have one each today. Automotive is going to have tens of uh, SOCs per auto. So this is, a, you know, this is kind of a scale dimension here is that we're talking an order of magnitude or greater in the complexity of what's coming and the needs for automotive electronics with things like autonomous driving and ADAS and other ones, uh, other uh, system elements to automotive electronics. The, the car market today, if you haven't heard, is about a billion cars worldwide. Um, what that, and if you take that, it's also predicted to uh, require about four terabytes of storage per autonomous driving implementation. So you talk about a billion car market, whatever segment of that has autonomous driving, each car in that segment is going to require four terabytes of data. In, uh, you know, let's talk about the size of it from a dollar point of view. In 2015, the whole market segment was uh, estimated to be $1.3 billion. By 2020, five years later, $3.3 billion, almost a tripling of the market in five years. Look at 2025, another tripling of the market to $9.7 billion. And by 2030, a doubling of the market to $19.8 billion. So you look at a 15 year period from 2015 to 2030, you're talking about almost a 20x growth in the size of this market. This is the first segment of a, of a multi-segment discussion we're gonna have about automotive electronics implications for memory. Um, tune in next week when we're gonna talk about the drivers for um, each of the different elements to the automotive electronics segments. Uh, again, I'm Scott Jacobson. Um, from Cadence Design Systems. Thank you for watching. Go to www.cadence.com for more information.